boy oh boy i saw something today that i wish i could unsee but unfortunately i can't it seems like it's a reality and it's coming soon so i was playing warzone earlier with my friend geeky and he asked me if i had seen linus tech tips new video on ai artificial intelligence tech products at ces 2024 i hadn't seen it so i went ahead and watched it and the first product that he showed was a new gaming monitor from msi that has ai tech built into it and some of the things that you can do with this are pretty crazy and i think it would be very difficult to detect or ban if at all so ces by the way it's a yearly show in las vegas where all of the big tech companies go showing off their new products cameras tvs household gadgets etc but it also has a huge gaming presence there now too so you get the likes of asus corsair intel for example showing off all of their new gaming gear monitors obviously a big deal this year there was a lot of awesome oled gaming monitors which looked incredible but one of these monitors that msi brought to the table called the meg 321 urx qd oled has an ai chip built into it and with that ai chip it uses computer vision i assume to take visual data and scan the whole screen 10 points if you can see where this is going now to demo the technology msi had a game of league of legends running and explained that with the current setup they had at the show the ai was focused on the minimap in the bottom right hand corner and when it saw an enemy indicator there it would flash up a large skull and arrow on the screen to warn you in a much bigger and obvious way where that enemy was and to watch out for them keep in mind that this is not built into the game the ai is monitoring and producing extra information and images to give the player an advantage i saw this and immediately red flags are going up but I wanted to do a bit more research on it so i watched some other videos read about it and in some of the other videos they had interviews with the people staffing the booth explaining it so this was on the feature card that they had next to the monitor let's take a look what it said here ai upgrade possibility trainable ai models firmware update the advent of ai eliminates the constraints previously imposed across different games when msi offers well-trained ai modules such as health indicator spectrum bar users can leverage gaming intelligence to conduct local training for their preferred games first collect your own data depending on the games that you play including images and footages to train your custom models consequently coupled with msi firmware update these custom trained ai models can be seamlessly integrated into your monitor significantly enhancing usability across various scenarios and games and there's another bit here the msi ai engine monitor ai skylight utilizes ai technology to automatically detect the enemy's position and display it on the screen ah so <laughs> you can use this on any game that you want based on that language and you can feed it your own training data to make custom ai models which means if i was using this monitor as a very primitive example i could train it and set it up to draw a big red outline around enemies in warzone or put a big skull and a chevron pointing to where the enemy is in PUBG or apex enemies that you know maybe i hadn't seen with my own eyes maybe enemies in darker areas or i could program it to warn me of a sniper glint that it detects on the far corner of the screen that i naturally didn't notice with my peripheral vision and the worst part is because this is running on the monitor screen itself independently of windows without any drivers or software interacting how would this be detected it would device manager even pick up that there was an ai module installed on the screen in windows it would probably just look like a regular monitor if it's independent it's not going to be there so that's just a couple of uses that i could come up with but there's much more to it than that because in a couple of the interviews that i watched this one was from a channel called victor's reality the demo is said and i quote later on the monitor might be able to react on sound as well and show you something on the screen that helps you make your game smoother and more comfortable Linus also mentioned sound in his video too. And I think what they're referring to here is visual audio. Some games have this built in already. Fortnite, for example, has the visual audio indicators, but it's a feature of the game and they're available for everyone to use. So that's fair, right? But here with this monitor, I think they're insinuating that you could run audio through the monitor via HDMI or DisplayPort and the AI will interpret that data and overlay visual indicators on the monitor itself from where that audio came from. Again, in 
any game where that feature maybe wasn't built in. You didn't hear a footstep sound on your left in the next room. Well, don't worry, the AI did. It's got that data in ones and zeros and it will show you exactly where that footstep sound came from. You can apply that to gunshots too, of course. A player making a small grunt in Tarkov that you might have missed because you were talking, whatever. I mean, come on, this is a bit of a slippery slope, isn't it? Where does this end? And I'm just coming up with a few usage examples off the top of my head here, but surely there are far more egregious and advantageous possibilities to cheat with this. And I feel like this monitor has been developed with no consideration for competitive integrity in multiplayer PvP games at all. Come to think of it, you could use this on console too, of course. I've just realized this. You wouldn't even need a PC because the tech is built into the screen itself. So you could cheat on console with this. And, you know, it's not like this is from a small company either who won't make many of these monitors. This is MSI. They're huge in the tech industry. They sell servers, laptops, graphics cards, monitors, peripherals, gaming PCs. They've just unveiled a new gaming handheld and they sell that tech all over the world en masse. So they've had the money to build a real product like this to a high standard, advertise it and get it in people's hands. And of course, because of the AI tech in it, they can probably sell this for an inflated cost too. However, yes, there are legitimate useful reasons for having this in a monitor for accessibility, etc. I think some AI tech is very cool and MSI may have put this together with genuine intentions, but let's be real. Most people are going to want to buy this to cheat in PvP games to get some kind of advantage and not get caught, especially when you can use it on any game and train your own custom AI models with it. To the guy's credit in the Victor's reality interview, the staffer does say, we don't recommend cheating with this, but I mean, you're basically showing a cheat. Like that League of Legends thing, in my opinion, that's a cheat. It's displaying new data and information, new graphics on your screen that isn't in the game. That's cheating to me. I actually discovered some more AI cheats when I researched this monitor today. Some of the stuff out there is crazy. There's a capture card cheat you can get where you install a capture card in a second PC, clone your monitor output to it. So there's nothing illegitimate running on your gaming PC apart from the game, which means that it's undetectable from a software perspective. And on that second PC, you run an AI software in real time that can detect enemies on the screen and figure out where to aim and control recoil in real time and then send those commands back to your gaming PC controller or mouse, essentially aiming for you, giving you an AI aimbot. That's real, there's videos of it out there. I don't think it's working perfectly based on the footage. I don't think it's that widespread, but it's a thing that's happening and people are developing it and it's only gonna get faster and better. And that's the thing that bothers me about it. But in regards to this monitor, at some point, this will be a product that anyone can buy in stores all over the world. It will work over time. The tech will improve. It's going to get better, more efficient, more possibilities with it. Ultimately, I reckon the MSI should rethink this one before it releases. In my opinion, as a big manufacturer in the gaming space, I feel like they have a responsibility to not enable people to cheat so easily, regardless of if it was their intention or not and kind of advertise this as a function of the monitor because if they do it then other big manufacturers might too and it sets a bad precedent for multiplayer games not just casually but also in online tournaments where there may be real money and opportunities on the line i'm definitely not on board with this one and it just seems like there are so many cheats out there now that the integrity and fairness of pvp is slipping away. I know some people might watch this and think that I'm overreacting, that's fair, but to me, I'm envisioning where this ends up and it's not pretty. But that's all for today, folks. I had to make a video on this because I felt quite passionate about it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Drop me a like if you enjoyed the video, a dislike if you didn't, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.